What's good, Clan? The King is back out again with another video, another W banger, another W reaction. You feel me? And this time we're gonna be reacting to best baseball fights. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I already know this is gonna be entertaining because hey, it's baseball fights. You know? So hey, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and enough for me. And let's go. Let's hop right in. This should be real good. I already know. I already know. Carlos Gomez up in the two spot tonight. Okay. Okay. And he hits that one high and deep left center field, way back oh. and gone. Carlos Gomez standing there watching the baseball. And now Freddie Ooh, Freeman joins about to happen, about to happen. Hollum as they shout at Gomez around the bases. And Brian McCann, Mahalam, and Freddie Freeman very upset with Carlos Gomez. And check out McCann. He's talking this, this shit. Out. Oh. Oh. And McCann oh. Face to face with Gomez. Damn. He hasn't stepped on the plate yet. He wants all the smoke. Now Reed Johnson comes out and lays They got the whole bench is right cleared, bro. Gomez. Damn. <laughs> and the bench is clearing. No in way. Atlanta. Now the bullpens are coming in. <laughs> and meanwhile, Carlos Gomez still has not stepped on home plate. No, nope. and Ryan McCann did not allow him to get by him. I mean, it, it kind of got <laughs> ugly very early. And Gomez didn't have the opportunity to step on home plate. He's going to have to damn, do that at the some whole, point. Damn, they got the whole gang out. He's still trying to go at him. Still trying to restrain <laughs> Carlos Gomez. Damn. And Gomez still very irritated, very upset. The whole team trying to calm him down. Swings and drives from okay, deep good to hit. center field. Back goes McCutcheon. He's at the wall. He missed it. Gomez oh. is going to turn second and head for third. And Carlos Gomez is in with a two out triple. And now Garrett Cole and Gomez. Ooh. The benches are going to empty. What prompted this? He mad, yo, he pissed. Oh, they got him on his feet. They got him flipped over. That's crazy. Oh, he up in his face again. Personal with it. And we've yet to set the stage about everything that happened, and you get a look at it. For those who may not have known, Brandon Phillips. Man, they clear it up too quickly. Let's see some hands real quick. Like, oh. Some comments about the Cardinals saying he hates the Cardinals and used some less than friendly language in his descriptions. And as soon as Brandon got to the plate, Yadier Molina got in his face. Now there's Roland and Molina, former teammates. This series has been void of bad blood probably until the end of the night last night. And there's Dusty Baker and Tony La Russa. They've had their issues with one another over the years. Well, I'm really stunned that a war of words would actually cause the benches to empty before they get going in the bottom of the first inning. Obviously, some discourse between Yadier Molina and Brandon Phillips sparked the whole thing. We won't know until after a game exactly what was said. Damn. <laughs> Yo, this is funny as hell. Yo, it's crazy because you don't even know what's going on. It's just everybody trying to get at each other. Damn. Yeah, at that point, it's just, I don't even know, it's WWE at that point. Because nothing is going to be solved by this. But I will tell you one thing, the 
there's not a lot, a lot of love between these two ball clubs, despite the fact that a lot of players on each team have played for the other team before. Oh, yeah, what else going on? Objections, and we're going to find out who. And with our questions and suspensions and fines to follow as well. And you nailed it, Chris. It was Chris Carpenter who seemed to be kind of in the middle of some of the worst of it. Well, if he's not whining about his own teammates, he's whining about somebody else. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, that was perfect. He said, we? <laughs> Yo, look how they got the whole benches cleared, bro. Damn. Yo, it sucks that there's no sound for this part. But nah, that was clean. That was clean. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, but hey, I see my teammate get swung on like that, bro. Sup, silver. For real. Damn. Shields hits crisp and Hope Cole is going to head out. Here we go. <laughs> and just like that, it turns into fight night at Fenway Park. Okay, what we got here? Ortiz ends up striking out. Okay. Second out of the seventh inning. He'll say some stuff on the way by, and he'll show Timmons where that pitch was. Yeah. He's lucky he's still in the game. A lot of times you show up an umpire like that, and you know, you're ejected from the game immediately, but uh, Ortiz giving that high sign on the 3-0 pitch. Now somebody's gone. Somebody's gone. It's Big Poppy. And he's coming out to say some more. Oh, he, oh, he wants the action for real. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And let these first get back. You know, sometimes it's almost a smile to wait a while. That's how they go right after Coco first the first time out. And quite frankly, I'm surprised to see Coco go to the mound. We're still fighting because they finally get him out to underneath the pile. I think the Bruins trying to calm him down. I was too. I thought he was going to head down to first base when he first took that first step. But Navarro's still hot out there. The catch with something. He's trying to get yeah, himself just can't really out of the line of There are a lot of guys real angry in this ball. This is one Damn. Of those, uh, just pushing around. I don't think that fans are working for. I don't know. That might be a fine, though. Back to Ventura. Who says something to eat before throwing over to first. And here we go. I should point out now that when the last half inning came to an end, the Royals and White Sox were screaming at each other. Damn. And Lorenzo Cain. Damn, he got knocked down. They still going at it. He trying to get in on it too.
Oh! Oh my. Right now, it appears that most of this is between Lorenzo Kane and Jeff Samarja. They are trying to find different ways to get to one another. And Samarja will not be pitching in this series. I should point out that as the Royals were about to take the field in the bottom of the seventh inning, there was some jawing going on between the two dugouts. So it didn't help that Ventura started saying something to Adam Eaton after he grounded back to Ventura. But there was a spark that had been triggered before this half inning even began. One and two. Ooh, nah, I would not take that. I'm sorry, but it would have been hands right away. Hell nah. Nah, we gotta get scrapping now. Nah, we gotta get scrapping. Bro, y'all better get his ass though, bro. Damn. His eyes are watering. Did it hit him? I don't know. That was too fast though. It probably did hit him. Well, the crowd sees him put the helmet on, and he goes to first. And did that hit him? I think it went behind him. Yeah, what is he doing, bro? Oh, wow. He, he, he trolled. Don Baylor out there. Ian Kennedy. And it's Kirk Gibson who has really ticked off. Chicken. Mm hmm. All right, all things reasonably quiet. The pens go back. Granky a good hitter, but he has grounded out and popped a bunt up. And, Ooh. and I think Kennedy's thrown out of the game. Wow. Bro, <laughs> there is oh, no way in hell, bro. And now they're liable to get angry after that. Uribe is mixing it up a little bit. Bro, go ahead, go ahead. He's in the middle. Get it in. <laughs> oh, why they got him against the the rails like that? And now Mark McGuire and Kirk Gibson and Matt Williams is trying to restrain Mark McGuire. And Matt Williams keeps saying no, no. I'll never let somebody be grabbing on my shirt like that. A little bit. Like real quick, like just and like that. Hot. Don Baylor is right in the middle of things. And they're pushing Don away. Josh Beckett was restrained. It looked like he and Baylor were having some words. Now oh. we have a little more ready to erupt. Puig is right there. There is Puig hollering at anybody who will listen, even those who won't. Remember, he was hit in the nose earlier. Now they're pulling Mark McGuire away. Now Williams kind of Slap Cruz on the back as if say, okay, get over it, let's calm down. But Ian Kennedy, I know, is thrown out of the game. Oh. Hit again. Get him, get him. Damn.
bro. You don't even know what's going on, my dick, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. Like. Bro, even the coaches want to smoke too. I ain't gonna lie, he could have hit that though. He could have hit that for real. Damn. <gasps> yeah, he could have hit that for sure. I don't know why he, he did that shit. He probably just wanted the reason to go out. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Base one out. David Ortiz, the batter. 94 inside. He will try to come in again. 2 0. Inside again, and Ortiz takes exception to this. <laughs> Third time he's come in. All three have been fastballs, and the benches are going to empty. Well, Ortiz has a pretty good idea what Greg's trying to do. The Red Sox just been bombing away. Now, the question is would they throw David Ortiz out of the game for making a move toward the mound? We're going to hand out warnings, which seems reasonable. 3 0 pitch. David lifts it in the air to shallow right. And oh, here we go. Ortiz. Here Ortiz we go. is going out, and it's time to fight. Damn. 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 Oh. Yo, that was really throwing hands. Greg said something to Ortiz as he popped out, wanted him to run, and then Ortiz ran right out at him. Fernandez, left field, it's deep, it is good, he got it, the kill in his last game, homers to left, we told you to come out, we told you to watch this one tonight. Hit it, and I don't care if he took a peek at it, it's his first one. Chris Johnson is mad. coming after Fernandez. That's who is jumping at him now. And now the bench is empty. They're on him for taking a peek. Boy. He stood at the plate and watched. I understand that. Chris Johnson came charging from they his got more people coming spot in. after Fernandez, who was talking to McCann. And now the bullpen's empty as well. Johnson being separated. You see, Chad Qualls has a hand on him. So that tells us, Rich, who it was that was getting the attention of Jose last inning. It was Chris Johnson. And then Jose set it off by standing at the plate and admiring the home run. Johnson is still going nuts right now. They're ruling indifference there. And now, uh, Escobar exchanging some words with the Boston dugout. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Restraining Escobar, Angel Hernandez over addressing the uh, dugout, and now oh. comes the rest of the Red Sox, and the Rays are out on the field as well. I think it was Gomes who came in from left field, and we're pushing and shoving again here.
Okay. Balfour trying to get into it. Shelton there bombing him down. Damn. Damn. Alright, y'all. Hey, that was really crazy. You feel me? All the teams is really going at it with each other, you know what I'm saying? But hey, if I see my teammate getting snuck, uh, uh like fighting or anything like that, I'm in. Y'all already know what's up. But hey, hope y'all enjoyed that reaction. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, right up for me, and I'm out.